Ah, thank you very much. It is my distinct honor to be standing here on behalf of my grandfather, Takeo Fujisawa. On behalf of my fa entire family, I would like to thank everyone who took a great, de great effort to save him from oblivion. He apparently earned himself a nickname, Godzilla. He relentlessly pursued his ideals in the, in the process. He must have flattened outdated, useless concepts. I wouldn't know if anyone has, was a gutsy enough to call him that to his face. Gazla happened to be my grandfather. When I was little, I was alone with him one day. He was reading a book while listening to a beautiful violin piece. I asked him what it was. He simply said, Bach. I asked him so many questions over the years, being knowledgeable not only in business, but in art, music, and so many other fields. He was never without answers. Sometimes he would give me two conflicting answers simultaneously, such as yes and no. It was baffling, to say the least. In hindsight, he wanted to show me the multifaceted nature of the world. When you see, is, or what you see is not always what you see. Everything is in a state of flux. Nothing stays the same. He challenged that very notion. He tried to create organization which could defy the test of time. He would contemplate on problems of today and ones of tomorrow that were still invisible. He insistently, uh, his, his intensity of thinking whoa, was almost tangible. One summer in the late 1980s, he suddenly suggested me to go around the northern part of Japan with him for a few days. I drove and he was in passenger seat. Our conversation never stopped. He was truly a mentor. I could see how, he, how much he enjoyed supporting young people. Indeed, he was magnanimous patron of many new and passionate minds. The moment I certainly saw a man who was content with his life. The final night of the trip, I asked him what he wanted to be when he, when he was young. He said that he wanted to catch someone who was singularly gifted and to assist the person reaching their full potential. He did just that. He was fortunate to meet Mr. Honda. The rest is history, as they say. One day, after two giants retired from their busy lives, Mr. Honda said to my grandfather, it wasn't too shabby, was it? To, my, to that, my grandfather replied, yeah, it wasn't too shabby. Yes, it wasn't too shabby. Thank you very much.